Good morning, everybody. This is It's a Dill Cherry coming back at you with another haul. Today's haul is going to be another Dollar Tree haul. I know I did one, I think it was last weekend. No. Did I do one last weekend? I think I did do one last weekend, but I'm here with another one. <laughs> and then um, Walmart, I did a haul with Walmart. I put a lot of the refrigerator stuff because when I got home, it was about 9.40 and Every uh, Sunday at 10 o'clock, I tune in to um, Chapel of Change uh, online live worship service. So when I got in, all I could do is put away the refrigerator and freezer stuff and then tune in and get my Bible and get ready. So um, I had to put that stuff away. So um, everything refrigerated. I hope I didn't forget anything, but we'll see. <laughs> It'll be melted by now. Um but I did um, order a big bag of um, tilapia fish. Yes, I, you know, I hear so many things about tilapia fish, and for a long time I stopped buying it. And um, I, maybe about a month ago, I bought a small bag of tilapia, and it just reminded me, I, it, I love tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got a bigger bag um, today and you know I have a lot of ground turkey a lot of um, two big bags of chicken in the refrigerator you guys I thawed chicken out the other day I think I told you in my last video I put in this Tupperware thing and I put it in the microwave microwave because I was gonna like kind of speedy thaw it out like by keeping it out and it was chicken leg meat next I forgot all about it because I ended up eating I ended up roasting Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes and had that for dinner. It was very filling and I forgot I had the chicken in there. I even thought about it and was like, oh no, I put that away. Next day I went to open the microwave. I could smell it immediately and you guys know it's been really hot here. So um, I had to put baking soda in the microwave. It was in a tight container. Um, what do you call those? Um, you know those ones you buy at the 99 cent store? Not Tupperware, but everybody calls plastic Tupperware, not Tupperware, but it's like a Rubbermaid or whatever. So, I mean, the smell is going to leak out. It wasn't bad by bad, but you could smell that it was, you know, and then when I picked it up, it was warm and it was just, anyway, I had to toss that, tie it up real good in a bag, about two, three bags and took it out to the trash. But, um, so when yeah, I just, I put a good amount in the refrigerator thaw out. I like to prepare my meals for the week. But I bought a lot of Brussels sprouts and filled up on, you know, I piled up on the vegetables. And so now I got frozen vegetables all in my freezer. It was a job getting all that stuff in the freezer. So anyway, yeah, I just, those are the things I ordered. And then, um, it was something else I got. Ground turkey, vegetables, and a big bag of fish. And I think that's all the freezer stuff I got. Okay, so, um... Anyway, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do a 99 cent store first. You guys, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. I said I wasn't going to do it because Thanksgiving's not uh, – November's not even here. And – excuse my hair. November's not even here. And I was like, I'm not going to get no Christmas stuff. I got a ton of stuff in my closet already, my uh, storage closet. I bought a huge tree last year on clearance. I bought one for me and my brother. And so – I said I wasn't going to do it, but you guys, I gave in. I can't believe I gave in. Oh, I gave in, you guys. Anyway, so we're going to jump into it. I think I'm going to show you that stuff last. So I want to get into this and show you guys. I was so excited to once again find these from last week. You guys, these are little kiwi berries these things are so good they have them at the 99 cent store they're 99 cents and you can eat the skin and everything and like i said i think last week they remind me if anybody's familiar with jamaica there are these things called guineps and when we were in jamaica first time i had them we were getting on the bus and i guess in, in in Jamaica, excuse me, in Jamaica, they allow people like that are selling, get, you know, like fruit and stuff like that. They get on the bus with all their fruit and all that stuff. And so we were on a bus going, my people are from the Kingston side, Spanish town, Portmore. So we were going from the Kingston, the city into the country where Portmore is, where my mom was born. And so, um, we're on the bus and a guy gets on with this big vine and it looks like grapes, but it's a tougher, 
It's a tougher um, skin. It's edible. And, well, I mean, this is edible, so is Ginnips. <laughs> Ginnips, you can either... Well, no, I'm going to be honest. Ginnips, the skin is not edible. You crack it open, you peel it off, and there's this huge seed, and it has flesh all on the outside. You suck that flesh off the big seed. It, 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 it's hard to explain, but anyway, when... My, my point is these look exactly like Ginnips. They're called Ginnips and they're out of Jamaica. They, I think they have them in Puerto Rico too and some of the other Caribbean islands. But when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, they got Ginnips. It looked like a spider on there, but that's just the end of the, what you call it. But yes, you guys, they are mini kiwis. They are mini kiwis. And so let's see, they are, they're called kiwi berries. And they're from Norris Farm. But you guys, you have to check these out. Oh, but when you eat them, you can either cut them off or just kind of peel them off. But you got to peel off that little stem part and peel off that part. And then eat them like that. Wash them real good, of course. But you guys are so good. So this time around, I bought two of them. So I bought two. And they're so good. And then they had really nice sized blackberries the last time I went. These these are nice size too. So I bought some blackberries. I only bought one of these this time. I don't I haven't been eating them as fast. And you guys know my little trusty uh, Whalers light juices to put in my little water. So I got those. I haven't had these in a while, raspberry, just solid raspberry without the lemon in it. They haven't had these in a, in a while. And they're one carb um, per one stick. Now, you have to be careful with these because some of these have two servings. This is one serving per stick. Some of these have two servings per one stick. And I had been buying them and didn't know. And one day I happened to look at it and I was like, what? So, yeah, serving size one stick is one card. So, these are really good to have. Oh, and I got um, this one, cherry. I had never had these in cherry. It was new flavors that they had, and I never had those. So, I grabbed two cherry and one raspberry. And I have lemon ones in there. And then I, or I uh, ordered, I bought one of their heritage cheeses, uh, shredded cheese. And, of course, you guys know I had to get my peanut butter. <laughs> Miss Peanut, I should call that my uh, YouTube video name, Miss Peanut Butter. <laughs> and because I'm going to be doing some baking, I need to go into a group chat on a uh, group text with my family. They know every year I do my breads. And I think next week I will probably start doing my different breads. I make pumpkin breads and I make banana breads. I have this awesome banana bread recipe. Oh, I forgot to get sour cream. But I have this awesome banana bread um, recipe where you put sour cream in it. And it's the most moist pumpkin bread that you can ever have. It's Carolyn something. She, I got it off YouTube. And she it was funny because she made it during a... I'm sorry, guys. This is, by the way, baking powder. <laughs> so I'm starting to stock up on my little baking stuff. I have baking powder in there, but I think I'm almost out. But um, she made this bread on her way out to a, on a family vacation, and she made it, and they ate it in the airport. And I remember one time, me and my friends were all flying out to Vegas uh, for five days, and uh, we stayed in a um, Holiday Inn Resorts. Let me tell you, it was like being in an apartment. We had a laundry room, dining room, full kitchen, all the dishes, full refrigerator, we had friends in Vegas that came, this guy that came and picked us all up. We went to the grocery start, store, stocked up. I mean, the cabinets and refrigerator were full for our five days. And um, it had a fireplace, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. I mean, it was beautiful balcony where we eat breakfast out on the balcony. It was beautiful. It's called Holiday Inn Resorts. And our room, when you look out on the balcony and you look straight out, that big wheel is right across the way like you could see that wheel huge wheel like right off like when you look outside is right there and let me tell you it was nice it was really nice um I want to try to get my sisters and my nieces, and my cousins together, and we do a trip to Vegas after all this is over. But it's literally like being in an apartment. 
it was wonderful and we had friends that would come pick us up and one day we went downtown Las Vegas and hung out and then went home at what three o'clock in the morning and made tacos <laughs> It was crazy. And then we went to bed and woke back up at like, so when you're in Vegas, you don't have no regular sleeping time. You're just whatever, you know, we were, you know, I'm a, I, I don't gamble big time. Like when, anytime I go to Vegas, I have a set, you guys like my shirt. I'm sorry. We have a set. Um, I have another shirt under that. I was wondering what that big lump was. It's my Star Wars shirt. I fat thrifted. Um, but, uh, you know, when you go to Vegas, you don't have a set sleep time. You don't go to bed at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock and wake up. In the, no. You go to bed at 4 <laughs> and you wake up at about 2, 3 o'clock, maybe even 5, and then you hang out all night. It's, we had a blast. It was so much fun. But anyway, I say that to say is I made the bread that the girl had made and I cut it up, put it in, you know, sandwich bags and Everybody, I gave it to everybody when we were at the airport. Um, two other friends ended up going a day after because they couldn't get off work. But the other two of us, I gave it to them. We all ate it when we got to the hotel. And it came in handy because when we got there, we were like, oh, we need to go grocery shopping. We didn't have nothing to eat. So um, it was good because we had that. And then I bought some little coffees. Of course, when I travel, I bring all kind of sorts of little things. So we had our little coffee. I had my little cream and all that stuff. So we were have the, able to have the bread and the um, coffee and stuff. And plus, the resort has a store and all that stuff. It's very expensive, though. But anyway, let me get back to the haul. It was so fun. So, yeah. So I say that to say, you know, I... Um, during the holidays, I make a pumpkin bread and I make a banana bread, and I have to start stocking up with my baking stuff, um, which is why I bought bananas. Uh, hopefully these will, they look, probably should have got them a little bit more green, but hopefully these will be really good by next week, um, if they're not too overripe. Because, you know, you make banana, ripe, uh, banana bread with overripe uh, bananas. Um... Of course, I always got to stock up on my little coffee stuff. And so that's that bag. But yeah, you guys, we have so much fun in Vegas. That's what I was saying, you know, um, watching Thrift Queen. You do have more fun when you have a lot more people with you. We go as a group. There's five of us. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five of us. And... We have a ball. <laughs> we really do. We have a ball when we go. We even got shirts made. <laughs> um, was it uh, girls? Uh, was it girls gone? Vegas gone? So I can't remember what we sent on our our shirts. Something. We all got black shirts with I can't remember what it was, and it was like some cute little heels, stiletto heels, and some dice over here, and we all had little retirement names that we gave ourselves <laughs> it was funny i think my shirt had um agnes was mine and then um we all had different names and then <laughs> then we had our bad names <laughs> i don't even want to go into that but anyway we had fun shout outs to cynthia stacy Lori, and Rhonda. those are my traveling buddies and after this is all over we did have well i had a uh trip plan to go to New York with my cousin, my sister, my niece, uh, my two sisters, my cousin, my niece, and my other cousin. We were all going to go to uh, New York, and we had to cancel that, of course, with COVID. And then before that, me and my other, my friends that I travel with, my other friends, or my friend friends, we were going to go to a spa in um, Temecula. And we were going to stay a weekend and have like a weekend spa and get massages and facials and go to a winery. But again, all that was canceled. We had it all. That was all scheduled. The plane tickets, we were about to get our plane tickets for New York. Everything, we had, everything just got put off. So I cannot wait for this to be over. So, okay. So getting in is a kid thing for Zoe. I'm not going to show that. Um, for a long time, I have not seen this. Now, I've seen the crumbs that they had for the cheesecake, but I didn't see the graham crackers, the regular graham crackers. They are $3, but the keyword graham crackers, this is good to have, um, you know, um, if you want a little snack or whatever, because it's not that bad. Well, yes, it is. But, um, yeah, I like to have graham crackers around, especially when Zoe comes. She loves graham crackers. She was over last night. I think I bought Cheez-Its for her. 
and I want to say this. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys what I got. I saw this when I was grabbing some tomato, I mean some uh, pasta sauce. They have this tomato paste. I don't know. Let me see how this comes. It's by Derica. Derica. And, oh, okay, it's in a tube. I think I seen, I should have grabbed two of these. I think I seen Rachel Ray on uh, TV use a paste out of a tube like this. I bought one in like a plastic where you have to cut it and then use it and then roll it up and put it in the freezer. I, this is my first time finding a paste. This expiration date on this is uh, November 25th, 2020. So I make enough, um, like zucchini, spaghetti, and stuff like that. Enough to, and even soups. I'm going to be making some soups. It's soup season. And, um, and, you know, to have this gone by the 25th. But anyway, so I'm glad I didn't get more than one. But it's good to have, though, you guys, tomato paste. And it's uh, organic. Oh, so that's a uh, two in one. And so let me see how many ounces. This is 4.6 ounces, you guys. So check this out. Look for this. Um, good to have. It's just that Dorica Double Concentrated Tomato Paste Organic. So that's good to know. You guys, my bag is down here. Um, again, I think I had told you guys about these, these onions. I like to eat these as a snack, you guys. Sometimes I put it in a uh, quesadilla. Um, I, the other day I put it in some soup. I had, um, what was it, uh... What was that soup? Um, clam chowder. And I cut these up and put it, sprinkled it on top of my soup. It can go on any soup. But you guys are so good. They're the onion, crisp onions. And they're so good. They remind me of a thinner, crunchier onion ring. <laughs> and got to have my zucchini, you guys. I like to make my little zucchini casseroles. Or sometimes I just cut them up and roast them. Just however, you know, whatever I feel like having at the time. And... Ooh, here is my Hunt's pasta sauce, Italian, and I always get Italian, the Italian sausage, because it literally tastes like Italian sausages in it. I don't know, it might be, but um, it's really good. I like how it's, it uh, flavors up my food. I mean, my, um, not pasta, but my, uh, you know, the stuff that I make, the zucchini and all that. And another kid thing. And then um, shredded Parmesan cheese. You guys know I go through this real quick. I put this, I've been putting this on my um, zucchini lasagnas. I've been putting this in um, my eggs. And I told you guys, you can make eggs and not even have to put salt in it. Put a little pepper and put some of this in it. And I swear to you guys, I swear by it. It's so good. And it's enough salt in that to just flavor it so much. And then I bought some more sweet potatoes. And doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, that's a lot of carbs. I didn't realize how much sweet potatoes has so much carbs. But my doctor's like, oh, sweet potatoes are good for you. But I'm like, really? Are you serious? 58 carbs. I mean, there is 8.2 dietary fibers, but that's, that's 50 carbs. And then per what? One cup of pureed. That's a lot of carbs. But you guys, you know what I do when I cube them? Like, I'll take one and just cube it and roast it with my, um, like if I'm making Brussels sprouts, I'll cut up onions and Brussels sprouts. And sometimes I throw in uh, asparagus and then I'll, you know, dice a couple of um, sweet potatoes in it. And, you know, put it all together, zucchini. Sometimes I, I just like to grill like a bunch of stuff and put it in the oven, and I just love that. It reminds me of barbecue. I remember one year, me and my sister got all these bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, um, was it onions, bell peppers, mushrooms, zucchinis, um, what else? She, it was a bunch of vegetables, and she seasoned them with this pollo seasoning, and she roasted them in the oven. Everybody was eating those roasted vegetables like it was all kind of chicken and whatever else in there. It was so good. And you guys, right now, I wanted to take a break and show you that I am drinking out of my blessed cup. 
I bought this at Dollar Tree yesterday. I shared this in my video yesterday. Isn't this cute? I love it. It reminds me of fall and summer. And so I made some coffee and I made uh, Christmas coffee. And what I mean by that, you guys, is I put a little bit of hot cocoa in my coffee and it just spruces it right up. And so I put a little bit in there. I hope it's not too hot. It's hot. <laughs> okay, so move on. So we're getting closer to. Oh, I'm so excited about this, you guys. You don't know. All I can say is y'all need to run and get these. Maybe I can start on. I do have eggs down in here. I forgot to put those in the refrigerator, but eggs can stay out a little longer. So, like I said, you guys, I went into the into the aisle, the seasonal aisle. 99 cent store to move all the Halloween stuff to one side, and they're lining up that Christmas stuff. Now is the time to get the good stuff. Let me tell you, over the years, I have gone to 99 cent store when they first put the Christmas stuff out. Because that is the time where you find the really, really nice stuff. I need to get on the GoPro. I know you guys are like, whatever, Sandra. But I need to get on that GoPro and go down that aisle and show you the stuff that they had. Like, and okay, it wasn't a dollar. But this is stuff I feel like when you get this stuff at Home Goods or, you know, wherever else, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, it's going to be way more than what the prices are here. So, first thing I want to show you guys, I thought this was cute, is $1.99. I'm trying, by the way, I'm trying to stay away from the car stuff, you guys. I'm trying. Um, I think I did good. Stayed away from the red truck thing. Um, that's kind of, the, the Buffalo check and the red truck thing is getting on my nerves. But, look at this tree, you guys. Isn't this adorable? And I thought this was so nice to just go on a bookshelf or I have a ton of Buffalo check red and black. I like the red and black better. Um, I do have white and black too, but I just, I feel like this screams Christmas when you see the red and black. I just, I love it. And so... It says, Merry Christmas, Santa's Workshop, 500 miles, ho, 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 and Merry and Bright. So, you guys can see that. This is just, and it has a stand on the bottom. And like I said, you could just stand this on the bookshelf or wherever you want. I'm looking at the bookshelf and I'm going to clean that out soon and get rid of that big old bookshelf. But... And again, because I got to get the house painted, and I'm like, back and forth, should I decorate for Christmas because they're about to paint my place and put new carpet down, or should I do it after? You know, I'm just back and forth with it, you guys. I think I'm going to lean more towards after Christmas because, I don't know, or maybe I should get it painted before Christmas and then the carpet after Christmas. I don't know. But I know I want to decorate for Christmas, and that's the thing. I don't want to have my tree in the way. So, I don't know, you guys. I'm so confused. But anyway, so this little wooden tree. Now, I wanted. I went on Pinterest last year, and they had this really cute tree. It's like branches. And you cut the branches all in different um, sizes. And then you put it on the wall. And um, you put one stick down the middle, and then you put the different branches, different sizes like that to form a tree. If you go on YouTube, you'll see it. I wanted to do that so bad. And you guys, I cut the trees down in front of my building. I wanted to run out there so bad and grab them, but I was like too embarrassed to do that. So, um, I mean, I guess this kind of suffices. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this is really cute, you guys. I love that. The next thing I wanted to show you, again, run. Run and go get it now because they are going to be out. I know this. They only had like six of them on the shelf. And they probably put more out, but people have been buying them up. This was $3.99. Look at the size. And it's metal. 
metal. It's got a ton of glitter in it. I'm not a fan of that. <sighs> um, not a fan at all of that, but I figure if I can go over these with like a clear something to seal that glitter in, I try not to buy as much glitter stuff as I used to because the holidays would be over and glitters everywhere. And glitter would be in my face, my hair, I'd go to work, it'd be all in my clothes, but isn't this cute, you guys? I absolutely love this. And I might, because you see how down here you don't see any of these dots. I might get an old, well, you see one here. I might get an old eraser, pencil eraser, and some red and white paint and finish those dots down here. So that would be like a, my own little DIY. But you guys look, it's metal. All of it's metal. All metal. And then here, the star full of glitter. And it's metal as well. It's, it's all over the place. <laughs> but yes, you guys, this is cute. I love this. This will be gone. There was six. And I took this one. There was five left. And I just, I don't think this is going to last. I really don't think that's going to last. Next. <laughs> I don't know if it was someone that saw this at Dollar Tree or if they saw this was made June 2020. Isn't that funny how early they make this stuff? But I don't know. I saw somebody with something. I don't know if they were if they got it from. I think they they got a Dollar Tree. I never seen it there, but you guys look at this. I don't know my dog names. I really don't. Um, nor does it say it on here. But it's a cute dog. I'm trying to see if it says it, what type of dog it is. It's a cute dog. And it has the red and black buffalo check, which I like. And just a regular. This isn't buffalo check. This is just plaid. And it has the blocks that you can change. And uh, let's see. It has December. You can turn it around and say December, you know, to show the date. This side, it just says Merry Christmas. You can use that for Christmas Day. But this was $2.99. Now, you guys, they had this in white with the white and black buffalo check. And then this down here was the same print, but it was in white and black. They had this in red with, again, the buffalo check. And I can't remember what the was on here. But, um, yeah, this is the to count down the days for Christmas, and it's a dog. Isn't that cute, you guys? I thought that was so adorable. Yep, it's just a dog. So if you're a dog lover, there you go. <laughs> and then, you guys, I saw these. These were only a dollar, and they're, you know, just a little cheapy they had ones that stood up but they didn't stand up and so i passed on getting that one because i don't want to sit here fighting with a reindeer that's going to fall over but um i thought it was still very pretty they have this in brown or like um it's like a lighter shade of brown and they had them in white they had a lot of different um reindeers they did they had a ton of different ones they had stuff ones that are harder they were more expensive. They had ones, the glittered ones that they always have. I'm trying to get away from glitter. Glitter is just so messy for me. I just, I, I'm over the glitter. And my cat, I don't want my cat ingesting glitter. Glitter. I got a vacuum when I'm done already. But, um, yeah, I just thought these were really pretty. And this is like, um, what do you call it? Like a velvet, not velvet. What do you call that soft? Felts? Velvet? Whatever. I wait. Let's see. I don't know the name of it, you guys. It's like a velvety feel to it and so they're really really pretty and so this would be something nice to be able to sit on the shelf um you know with my little decor in front of my silver vase and even to use it on the table you know it's nice size it's smaller it's not huge and take up the you know your table like i have a smaller round table by the way after this video i am going to upload my tablescape you guys i said i was going to do it this morning but Today I'm uploading two video, uploading two videos, and I'm gonna do it right after I get off of here. But anyway, yeah. So that is one of my finds. 
And then the last thing that I found with a ton of glitter on it. Um, trying to brush off some of this glitter. But I thought these were real cute. And I can find... Um, I have like flowers and stuff, Christmas flowers and stuff to put in this. So um, I can get styrofoam, put it inside. But this is a... It's kind of like a flower arrangement. Uh, you know, not a vase, but you know, pot. And it shapes like a hat. They had this in black. I think it was, it, it was black. Oh, my phone's ringing. I'm going to put you guys on hold real quick. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> so anyway, it is a flower pot and has metal. It's made out of metal. And then the leaves are made out of metal as well. And then there's like a little, you know, one of those berries, holly berry, whatever. And that's metal. And then, of course, it's glitter all the way around. And the glitter is all over the place. Look. I mean, it comes off, but, you know, it's just messy. Um, again, I try not to get things with a lot of glitter on it, but um, I don't know. I might try to spray it or somehow figure out how I can get that um, glitter to stay on there. But anyway, yeah, it's a nice pot. It's really nice. I can put some styrofoam in here and just do like a little flower arrangement in here. It'll look really nice. So it's just a top hat. And then... I think that is it for Dollar Tree, you guys. A lot of good finds. Um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I, I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. Okay, well, let me just get this. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I'm going to go into now my Walmart car. car, car. I'm going to go to my Walmart car. Um, and so, of course, like I told you guys, every time I'm going to pick up some toilet paper because the numbers are going up. Um, they did announce California's numbers are going up with infections. They say back east, uh, back in New York, uh, hospital rates are going up. They're starting to get packed up in the ER again. And, and uh, ICU, ICU um, the people getting admitted to ICU is going up. So I'm just starting to stock up. Okay, I'm stocking up. Every time I go, I pick up um, toilet paper. And um, I need to have my sister pick me some of it at Costco, too. But Also, let's see. I have, I think, I hope I took everything out of that other. So, I ordered some beans and this is what I like about Walmart when they run out of certain things they give you the more expensive one for the price of the cheaper ones so I had ordered these beans they have the 50 50 cent bean or 49 cent beans <clears throat> black beans and I bought they gave me bush because they ran out of the ones that I wanted so and I think I had ordered four of them so I got my beans and like I said stock up Sock up for the winter. Be like a polar bear going into hibernation. Get your food now. <laughs> because let me tell you guys, that was a scary thing going through, you know, having to figure out where you're going to get food. I mean, I was in the store snatching stuff I don't even eat. I ended up giving stuff away, like those bag burritos, you know, that they have. I don't eat those things. <laughs> but I had a big bag of them. I ended up giving to my nephew. Um <clears throat> You know, I just, I, and I panic bought. I went to Dollar Tree, couldn't find alcohol and certain things. Why did I grab two things of um, mouthwash? And to this day, I can't understand why I bought mouthwash. <laughs> like, why, why did I do that? Like, mouthwash is going to hoard off a uh, coronavirus. So anyway, I think I picked up four of these black beans, you guys. I like to have these... Um, I like to cut up some time, uh, like baked chicken, and then I'll chop it up, put a little barbecue sauce in it, and then have it with some black beans. You know, beans are really good for you guys, or, or us. <laughs> and I was talking to my doctor about it, and um, the carbs are high on it. However, it's a good carb. Beans are a good carb. Um, it's five grams of um, total fiber, so it's 15 grams of carbs. But... Um, 
I usually won't eat a whole can of them. I'll have like a half because, you know, by the time you put, sometimes I cut up onions and bell peppers and saute, you know, I, I'll doctor up something in a minute, honey. And so also I bought garbanzo beans. I believe I bought two of these. I want to make a hummus, you guys. I see people always making hummus and I buy the, um, low carb tortillas. Oh, that's another thing I put in the refrigerator. You guys, I'm starting to sweat. It's getting hot. Um, but I bought low carb tortillas and I want to see how it tastes with hummus and like, um, smoked turkey. I want to, I think I'm going to buy some smoked turkey. Um, you know, the cutlets are the, not cutlets, sliced turkey, <laughs> smoked turkey, and then make some, uh, turkey roll-ups. And then instead of putting like mayonnaise or anything like that, you can use hummus. Um, so I want to learn how to make hummus on my own. And so, let's see. And then I also bought green beans. I can't remember how many of these. I think I bought three of these. I'm not going to take all the cans out. I'm going to show you one can and tell you how much I got, um, how many I got. So that's that. And then, um, then I also bought um, Jello, sugar-free Jello. And, oh, and I bought a tub of uh, whipped cream. I like to eat my Jello with a dollop of whipped cream on top. Um, it's a treat for me. You guys, I hit my toe last night, my big toe last night. I, like, kicked it up along something, and my toe is hurting so bad. And, you know, when you're diabetic, you got to be careful for that. So, anyway, um, mayonnaise. Uh, mayonnaise, because I still have a ton of crab in there. And, um... I like to make my crab salad and put a bunch of um, green peas and carrots and, you know, like the mixed vegetables. I like to put that in there and cut up big chunks of celery. Love to have that as a snack. It's funny because I'm having a hot flash and it's starting to get hot and I have a fan on. <laughs> but, yeah, we're still pretty hot in California. I think today's supposed to be like 80 or 81. Um, but it's going down like by the end of the week, I think they said, we'll be like in the low 70s, which is cool with me, but I think that's it, you guys, I'm going to put you on, pause this for a minute, I think I have everything, and then I wanted to show you one more thing, I'll be right with you, and I did forget avocados, <laughs> so yeah, avocados is the last thing, and you guys, so, um, yeah, again, I enjoy going to the um, Walmart pickup. It works for me, <laughs> you know, and I notice, again, I notice a lot more people are going. A lot more people are going. You know, it kind of died down, and, like, I would go, and I'd be, like, one of two or three cars there. When I went this time, there was, like, almost all the stalls were filled. You could tell people are starting to be more careful going in these stores because the numbers are going back up again. And so, you know, we just have to be mindful of what's going on. Um, if any way possible, you know, try to utilize these, uh, grocery store pickups. My niece, she doesn't like Walmart. She signed up a hundred dollars where they deliver food to your door, uh, for the year. And you just call them, order whatever you want. No limit of how much you have to spend. See, Walmart, you have to do $35, $35 before you could do the pickup. Um, I don't have a problem spending $35 a week. I don't do, well, almost every week I do order. Um, however, I um, that's only because I'm trying to make sure that I s stock up on, on uh, canned, canned goods. But um, there are some days that I don't go, so, um, you know, I just try to stock up, I mean, I try to go, um, when I really, really need to go, and a couple times I haven't gone, um, since this whole thing started, so anyway, you can either go to Walmart and pay $35, and it's just me anyway, um, and they bring your groceries out to you, um, and then, and it's it's free as long as you pay thirty five dollars. But Target, you pay a hundred dollars. You have a whole year, and they deliver right to your door. And so that's what my niece does. Um, I guess they have this other one where they deliver. You know, I don't know. They have another thing from Amazon groceries or whatever. Um, I heard that they don't 
have the freshest stuff. Like, they don't bring you the freshest stuff. And I know with Walmart, you know, they guarantee fresh. Like, I haven't had a problem with any of my stuff from Walmart being bad. But anyway, there's lots of options, you guys. There are lots of options. Just be safe and, um, you know, just be careful because it seems like the numbers are going back up. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you guys. I have been selling on Mercari more and more. And um, I think I saw somebody do this a long, long time ago. But um, he, what is your name? E Miss, uh, it used to be the eBayer. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting your name. <laughs> He's a guy that sells on uh, Will that sells on on um, that sells on eBay. He, um, I think it was his video I watched where they did a little, um, you know, when you're staging your items. And this is just a good staging uh, thing to use. And I also saw on um, the Crazy Lamp Lady. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. She sells on eBay as well. And she's the one I really study and learn what to find. You know, like the certain Fenton glasses, art glass, depression glass, you know, stuff like that. And so... Um, she has this other lady that she, well, since before Corona went down, that she um, thrifts with. And I got the idea from her, but then I had forgotten about it. And I was in the store because nobody, everywhere I went, I was trying to look for them a long time ago, but everywhere I went, they didn't have these. And so now they have them. And I was watching Will, and he, I think it was your video, and you showed how you staged something in the, the cardboard. And um, this is how it looks. And um, I have a white thing that I use to, and I'll elevate it and put that white thing over and then put my item there. And so I have a, cute, uh, a couple of things that I need to photograph, um, uh, a couple of things that I want to photograph today and post them on Macari because I'm, I'm starting to get a lot of posts and I want my items to show up really well. And they always say that you need to use a white background. I made a mistake by doing... Um, taking some videos of jeans with a black background and the jeans looked all washed out and the color was horrible so I need to take those off and repost those <laughs> with the proper background but anyway so yeah I picked this up at Dollar Tree so we used to use these in junior high and high school for our little uh, projects and stuff that were in presentations and in college I've used this and so um, yeah so I got one of those, finally. And that's it, you guys. That is all. That's it. <sighs> Y'all get out there and get these little Christmas things because I'm telling you, these are the things that go fast. Like, she was putting these things out. Like, I can't believe Christmas is already out. Um, but yeah, I'm one. I like to get out there early and get what I got to get early, <laughs> you know. Thanksgiving, I have, I feel like I have enough stuff. I don't, I don't decorate that much. I used to. I used to have fall leaves all over the place. But, you know, because I'm trying to prep my house for um, painting and I'm trying to get it together and get rid of a lot of things, which I have been getting. There's a whole bunch of stuff my sister is taking to um, donate. Um, she's giving, she likes to go through my clothes anyway. She thinks I have the best clothes. I don't, no, I don't. Um, but, I'm giving them to her. Um, there's Tupperware with my pantry. There's tons of Tupperware I'm getting rid of. And, you know, I'm just trying to go from room to room. I need to get this out of all this stuff. Some of this stuff needs to go in my closet. I've washed clothes, my personal clothes, and ended up leaving them on here. I need to get those into my closet. I need to get rid of things in my closet. I have this huge 16 shelf, Ikea shelf. Why did I buy it? I don't know. And then I even bought four baskets to go in there and it's just books college books that I will never use again binders, pictures you know, all that stuff's gotta go not the pictures but the books and the binders and all that stuff anyway, you guys, I have said enough I'm gonna see if I could do a screenshot um, what do you call it? Um, I always forget what you call it, but anyway, I'm about to put these up here and do a quick little
let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Maybe I'll do like this. You can see. We do this too. One, two, three. You guys are so funny. These never come out for me, but I'm trying to stay longer. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> they never come out for me, you guys. I and I think it's because I don't I don't hold it long enough. But hopefully that worked out. Hopefully those come out. Anyway, you guys, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope you guys look at my tablescape that I'm about to post after I post this one. So there's going to be a double whammy today. And I just hope you guys have an overall blessed uh, day, Sunday, and a blessed week ahead of you. Um, oh, 45 minutes. If you're still here, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I will talk to you guys next time and have a wonderful evening, or I'm sorry, day. It's 1229, so have a wonderful day. And uh, don't forget to leave me some comments and give me a thumbs up, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.